Hi kids, how are you? Today is Palm Sunday and we're driving to Jerusalem. No, we're not. We're gonna read about Jesus going to Jerusalem. We're looking in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verses from 28 to 40. The book of Luke is in the New Testament. Okay, kids, ready? Okay, let's do it. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethsheba and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a cold tight dirt, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Said, the Lord needs it. Cool. The cold is a little young donkey. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the cold, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the cold? They replied, The Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus threw their clothes on the coal, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their clothes on the road. How do you think the road looked like? Like the first or the second image? Probably like the first one, right? Verse 37. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, Jesus replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. I want to show you this is how the stones look like. I don't want to be like a stone. And I don't want the stone to worship Jesus instead of me. What is to worship God? To worship is to tell God what we like about him. To give him compliments. We worship him for who he is. We tell him, for example, God, you're so awesome. You are everything for me. I can do anything without you. You are our amazing God. Why do we have to worship God? Because we were created to worship him, to express our gratitude towards him. Are you ready? Grab your Bible and we're going to look for John chapter 4 verses 23 to 24 John chapter 4 verses 23 to 24 and it said go if you find it get your highlighter and start with the verse 23 yes we want to mark the verses 23 and 24 because they're very important when you find important verse, you have to highlight it so you remember next time. Let me read it with you. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is a spirit and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Maybe you're asking yourself, what does it mean to worship in spirit and truth? It means that I worship focusing in the message of the truth of Christ, in who He is, what He has done for me on the cross. To know the truth, I should spend time reading the Bible, right? Because when you read the Bible, the result of this is a renewed mind, and a spirit sensitive to the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Spirit is the one who reveals us the truth of the Word of God. And we need Him to do that. Maybe you think, I don't know how to worship God. Or maybe you are very cheerful to worship God. If you don't know maybe how to start to worship God, I will give you some tips. I encourage you to choose some worship songs and just play it. Don't focus on yourself or your surroundings. If it's for you not to get distracted, just close your eyes. Desire to feel God's presence as much as you desire to breathe air. You really have to desire this in your heart. Visualize yourself before the throne of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you worship God and let Him lead you. The Holy Spirit will help you. Don't worry about it. He will if you ask Him. Wait patiently for the Lord to help you worship Him. Don't give up. Don't just try to rush the Lord, okay? Think about how much He forgave you, loves you, and wants to spend time with you. Start talking to your lovely Father God, recognizing how wonderful He is. You could praise Him on your knees, on your feet, raising your hands, sitting down. However, you feel God's presence. I confess that my favorite way is on my knees. You know why? Because when I own my knees, I feel that I completely humble myself to the Lord. Maybe you are having trouble right now or you're worried and you don't feel that much like worship God. You don't feel that happy to worship God or joyful. But you know what? You don't need to feel joyful to worship the Lord. Because it's in the worst moments that we need to worship Him. Yes, because when we open our heart to the Lord and we give all our praises to Him, even we don't feel like it, God will take out from you those worries and, and troubles and sadness and depression and sickness will... He will carry all your things with Him if you give it to Him. You just praise Him. I just want to share some, something with you. A long time ago, I got an accident and I cut my hand. And I couldn't work for three months. I didn't have a job who paid me for not working. I have to be waiting in God's mercy yes God used other people to bless me to bless me with with food to bless me with offerings to help me out and during these three months that I didn't work and I felt the worst because I have an accident and I, I couldn't move my hand so much I couldn't use it I felt really bad but I never cease to worship Jesus. I never, really. I worship Him. I went to church. Yes, I read my Bible. Yes, I give praises to Him. Even I was not in the right place, maybe, to worship Him. But I did it. I did it. You know why? Because He's God and He deserves all the honor and all the glory and all our worship and praises God is the only one who deserves it even if I don't feel like it I don't want to let the rocks worship God I don't want to let this rock worship God I want to worship Him I do there are many ways to worship God and I will tell you some. 
We could worship God by reading God's word, hearing God's word, praying, singing, and keep an eye on this. We don't need to be a good singers to worship God. We could listen to worship music. We also could, could participate in Holy Communion, being baptized, evangelizing. You know what is evangelizing? Evangelizing is when you share the gospel to other people. Yes, at your school, neighborhood, whatever you go and tell other people the good news. What are the good news? That Jesus came to die for our sins because he loved us. And he want to give us eternal life. And he died for our sins and rose again. That's the good news. And another way to worship God is by serving others. Yes. Maybe we don't know in what way we could serve others. But there are many ways. You could serve others starting by your home. What about helping your mom, your dad, or helping your little sister or your little brother? Maybe we cannot go out right now in person to help others, but we could write a card and encourage other persons like that. What do you think? Think about this week and pray to God. Let's pray. Dear God, I love you and I praise you for who you are, almighty God, all-powerful. Please, God, forgive me for all my sins, Lord. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for giving me life. Thank you for sending Jesus, who died on the cross for my sins. Thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. We ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you guide us and help us to worship you. Help us, Lord, to do not have fear and come to you in worship. Help us, Lord, to read more about you in the Bible, learn more about you, so we could grow, Lord, close to you every day. We need you, Lord, and we ask you with the help of your Holy Spirit to worship you every day, even if we don't feel like it. Help us to be cheerful and joyful because you are the one who deserves the honor and the glory. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Amen. We will finish with a worship song named How Great Is Our God by Chris Tomlin. Splendor of the King, glow the majesty. Let all the air rejoice. Let all the air rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide. And trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Age to age he stands, and time is in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God had three in one. Father, Spirit, Son, 
the lion in the lamb, the lion in the lamb. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God and all will see how great how great is our God how great is our God sing with me how great is our God and all will see how great how great is our God. Name above all names, worthy of all praise. My heart will sing how great is our God.